staying in the construction sector, we move on to um, a startup that many of you will remind of Lego blocks when we were all kids and building our houses with small Lego blocks. Um, and why not do that in a, in a large in a large fashion and build um, recyclable houses out of modular blocks? So turning it over to Polyker. Uh, the slides coming. Perfect. And can you hear me? Loud and clear. Perfect. Yeah. Welcome to Polycare, the circular way of building. On the next slide, you see our building blocks. Uh, they actually look like Lego blocks. They're 30 centimeters high, and the biggest one on the right is at 40 centimeters in the width. So it's a building system that can be easily um, used for uh, building up a new building, but it can be easily dismantled again as well. And then after that, you just reuse the blocks. And the material of the blocks itself is um, made of recycled material. So the filler material for the concrete that we that we are producing is um, yeah can be uh, uh, can be made of waste streams and all that kind of stuff. It needs to be flowable material. So. We are accelerating the transition into a sustainable and modular building industry. We simplify the building process radically. Uh, we pave the path towards circular economy through reusability and recycling. And we lead that innovation by our patented technology. On the next slides, uh, you see where we come from. We actually come from uh, Africa. We did a lot of innovation for African markets or developing markets. We already got our footprint in Namibia and South Africa. Um, but basically, the same innovation we did for those markets is super relevant for Germany and Europe and the Western world as well. On the next slides, you see why. Because our Polyblox is basically a perfect um, um, product for circularity. It's designed for disassembly. We use waste as filler material, and there's a huge opportunity in Europe, as you heard uh, from Concula. So there's an 850 ton per year opportunity in Europe to, to use that material and to uh, turn it back into or put it back into the cycle. We use new binder technologies, so we don't use any cement as binder. Um, therefore, we lower the CO2 footprint of our product. Uh, there's no wet works um, needed on sites, like um, with when you do um, with cement concrete, yeah, there's no heavy machines needed and there's zero waste along the value chain. On the next slides. You see, um, yeah, the, the broader circular value chain um, with the production first, of course, it's our core product as we set up production sites all over the world. Here in Germany, we are going to produce our own poly blocks. Then you construct your building, um, but you can also dismantle it again and uh, reuse the elements that you used before for that building. We, on the next slide. We did our first pilot project last year here in Germany. Um, we actually took down a five-year-old building and use the same poly blocks to rebuild um, this building you see on the right side and I'm sitting in right now. Um, and there's a very nice documentary about it uh, on Vimeo. Um, you will find it if you Google that on the next slide. Yeah, uh, looking into our poly blocks, it's made of an insulation core on the inside. It takes up 80% of the volume. And the outside is a shell made of polymer concrete. And with that material innovation, we already um, save 60% CO2 emissions compared to conventional building methodologies. We also save 75% of material because we uh, use as less material as needed um, for the shell. Um, and for the future, uh, we see a lot of opportunity in, in different binder technologies to save even more CO2 emissions. I think in, in the very near future and the next two to three years, we're gonna save around 70 to 90% CO2 emissions. And with biochar, a product from Carbonauten, for example, uh, we believe we can enter a future where we have um, CO2 uh, neutrality or um, that we can even have a CO2 negative product uh, in the market. Next slide, please. Yeah, thanks a lot for listening and looking forward to this program. If you have any questions, uh, reach out to me, um, yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much, Andreas. Um, I really look forward to seeing one of your houses being built here in Wuppertal so that we can ultimately experience it. And uh, we Definitely. had discussions about doing that either at the Gaskessel 
um, or at the Merkabahnhof. Well, as I said, look, looking forward.